Okay, so we are going to start by removing the filters. We're gonna remove all of them that have the packaging around them. This Cyclone filter, we do not wanna remove, but the rest of these other five, we wanna remove and pull out the, pull them out of their packaging. So we're just gonna pull them out. Now the combination of all of these filters is what makes this air purifier superior to the original air purifier that a lot of people have and use with their filters. Okay, I mean with their lasers. Okay, so I'm just going to take them all out of their packaging. The other thing is this cyclone filter can actually be washed. So with the other filter, with the other air purifier, you had to replace it completely. That one can actually be thrown in the laundry or hand washed. And I'm not worrying about what order they were in the um, purifier because they all have these numbers um, on them. So I know, you know, where they're gonna go. Okay. Now it is important to put them back, not only in the correct order, but starting at the bottom with number five, okay? And you're gonna notice if you look closely at these filters that they're slightly different. They're all slightly different, so you can see visually. All right, so let's take number five. It's going in this bottom slot. Now you should be careful because as you know, this thing is on caster wheels. Probably you don't have it up on a table like I do, but just be careful. Okay, five and then obviously four, building all the way up, zero. Okay, that one is definitely tricky. I think it's because there's just not a lot of, you're, you're, they're tightly packed in there. You can see when I pull it out, it's not just going to pull out. I'm gonna have to use some force. So be aware of that. Okay. Once you get all of the filters in there, the next thing that you wanna do is put the cover on. Now the cover fits every way, right? It has, these magnets on the sides. The thing is, if you don't put it on correctly, you will get an error. So make sure that this green tag is in the top right. It will fit and be at the bottom left, but if you do that, you'll end up with an error up here along the top and you won't be able um, to turn on your air filter. Okay, so this is how you're going to do this if you have an S1 or an F1 Ultra. Okay, if you have um, a P2, an M1, or either of the D1 machines, you're actually going to use this clamp in combination with this more tiered um, type of connector. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna connect mine to the P2. So this is the, P this is the tube that's coming um, from my P2 already. So I'm actually not gonna use the other one that I showed you how to set up. That was if you're going to like a newly established tube. What you can see though, is that this tube, if you were to put it onto the, um, the new air filter, it, it does, there's no connection here. So you basically, you, this is where you're gonna use this wire ring, okay, in combination with the tiered connector. So the connector itself is gonna go on here. This is going to go into the um, hose, and then you're gonna use the metal bracket and tighten it around there, okay? Okay, so see how tight that is on there? I can actually go a little bit more, and it's not, going to disconnect so you're going to get a really good air um, control and then this is just going to go right onto my p2 okay i mean onto the filter okay next thing is you need the power cord all of that is going to connect 
down the bottom here, okay? Okay, just plug that in. And then the controls are all up here. You're gonna power it on, that's the main power, and then the other power is right here. Now, I am gonna tell you, this auto button is the filter, when it's on auto, it automatically adjusts to the material that you are cutting. The, the amount of um, like pull or pressure from the air that the filter is pulling out based on the material that you're cutting. However, it only works um, with the machines that can take the P2 dongle which are the S1, the M1 Ultra, the P2S, um, which is the, the newer version of the P2, and then the F1 Ultra. So because I have it hooked up to my, my P2, the original P2, I'm not going to be able to use auto or the Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth dongle is available if you have one of the newer machines. Okay, if you guys are looking for um, information on this filter, where to get it, links and everything are in the description below, and see you soon.